Hi everyone, and welcome back to our channel, Adventures on the Go. In this video, we'll show you our seven-day cruise that we took with our family over fall break on the Carnival Liberty, sailing to three amazing destinations, Royal Town Honduras, Belize, and wrapping up in Cozumel, Mexico. Did you know that Carnival decorates their ships based on the time of year? We took this trip in the month of October, where the Liberty was all decorated for Halloween. Everybody say hi, Princess Peach! And the fun squad was pumped and ready to have a good time. Halloween party! From the many delicious options for food and drinks, some seriously phenomenal shows. Are you ready? Water slide fun. Swimming in the rain in Honduras. A little rainy, a little cold. Snorkeling in Belize. The shopping in Mexico. If you've ever considered going on a cruise, we promise you'll have a blast. Join us in this adventure on the Carnival Liberty. If you're new to this channel, we thank you in advance for liking and subscribing. It really helps support this channel, and we appreciate it. There's the Superdome. Look how dope that is. I'm in downtown New Orleans. We are five minutes away from the port, about to get on our fall break cruise. Some of our kids had already been on a cruise with us, but this trip, we had two brand new cruisers, and they were so excited to experience it all. We're getting onto the boat. We are now getting on the ship. Yeah! We did it! We're on the ship. We made it on the Carnival Liberty. This is day one and we're getting ready to sail away. I got my son Max with me. How's it going so far, buddy? Amazing. Unlimited ice cream pretty much all day long. It's what the kids love so much and it's why we love bringing them on these ships like this. So we're going to show you a little bit about this ship and what it has to offer. But before that, Let's sail away. The Carnival Liberty is part of the Conquest class with ships such as the Conquest, Glory, Valor, Freedom, and Liberty. The Liberty was built in 2015 with a guest capacity of 2,974 passengers. Despite weighing in at 110,000 tons, its six powerful diesel engines gives it a maximum speed of 25.9 miles an hour. As we left New Orleans, Hurricane Milton was hours away from bearing down on Florida. We got to experience the power of the engines moving us quickly and safely away from the storm. But even so, six to seven foot waves made for a rocky next two days of sailing. Thank God for Dramamine. Carnival has incredible onboard activities for the whole family. And we were excited to enroll our younger kids in Carnival's youth programs, Camp Ocean and Circle Sea. We're going to my camp. It's step 12 forward, so we got a long way to walk. For safety reasons, we won't be able to show you footage of these camps, except for some scavenger hunts Circle C kids got to do. Hi! Hi! We're doing a scavenger hunt thing, and one of them says we have to eat ice cream as a group. But please, check out Carnival's website to learn more of what your kids can experience once on board. One area of the ship that is always a hit for the kids is the arcade. This is the one that I want. You want this one? Yeah. So I think I won like 760 something. Wow. Huh? You gonna play? Yeah, that's fun. These games will be at an additional cost. So we recommend setting spending limits in each child's account. <laughs> we 
When it comes to entertainment, the Carnival Liberty has a lot to offer, including the Seaside Theater, which shows movies, concerts, and sports highlights. Victoria Lounge. Here you can see a variety of scheduled activities, including playlist productions, audience participation games, and dance classes. Piano Man Bar. A place to sing along to your favorite songs, order a cocktail, and have fun with the piano player and other guests. Hot and Cool Dance Club. The ship's main dance club and features a large dance floor, its own bar, and nightly live music. Caesar's Palace. The gaming area that seats 484 people. And then there's the Las Vegas style theater, which may be our favorite. This space covers three decks and seats 1,500 people. And it's the place to see a wide range of spectacular entertainment. We are heading to the theater. Uh, it is on deck number three, four, and five. This is us going to a theater play called Flick. We're about to watch a show that was postponed from last night to tonight because of all the waves. And it is called Flick. From Broadway-style shows to popular gaming shows. We are heading to the Venetian Palace to see Deal or No Deal. It's formal night here on the cruise. It's always so much fun in there. Flick was great. Flick was great. I was able to creatively keep up with it versus some other people who maybe it was harder for. Wow. This ship is not like any hotel you've stayed at. It's a floating hotel and this one has a few pools and jacuzzis to relax in. There are two main pools and three hot tub areas on the Carnival Liberty. The Coney Island Pool, the largest, is located midship on Deck 9, while a smaller pool, Versailles, is located in the aft. Hot tubs are located next to the Coney Island and Versailles pools. as well as in a Serenity Adults Only Retreat. The midship pool is 4 feet 9 inches to 6 feet deep, and the aft pools is 4 feet 9 inches to 5 feet 8 inches deep. Carnival pools are usually open from 8 a.m. to midnight, but hours may vary. The Hub app lists the pool hours. Because of the high volume of families coming on board, Carnival has decided to do away with adult-only pools in several of their ships, including Carnival Conquest, Glory, Valor, Liberty, Freedom, Splendor, and Victory. It is elegant night. We're heading to our restaurant now. It's a lot of people out tonight. So we're gonna to try to make a way, get to our table, and enjoy a delicious meal. It seems like a giant muffin and some kind of liquid. You finish your sentence. Teaching everyone to be grateful for everything that they have, including this sponge cake. On this cruise, we sailed during the month of October, which meant Carnival decorated the Liberty for Halloween. And many cruisers decorated their stateroom doors as well. Here we are going to a Halloween party on a cruise. They hosted a Halloween costume party that's usually outside, but we had to move it indoors because of the rain. The Snow Queen! People screamed for her and it was pretty awesome. Max, however, did not go. I think because he's missing his helmet, on Carnival Cruises you can't bring face masks because they don't want to not see your face. I don't understand that, but... Anyway, it was so much fun to see all the cool costumes. Next up is one of our favorite things about vacationing on a cruise, Port of Calls. Our first stop was to Mahogany Bay, Honduras. Mahogany Bay in rural town Honduras 
is a Caribbean cruise ship port with a man-made beach, waterfront activities, and many things to do. Activities include water sports, dolphin encounters, and island excursions. All right, we just made it to Mahogany Bay. We're walking to the beach right now. We've got all our beach stuff. We're gonna see a beautiful beach. We're gonna get to swim in it. Mahogany Bay, Carnival Liberty. We've always chosen to spend time on the included beach. On this trip, just as we arrived, it began to downpour. Yeah. Hey. Woo, a little rainy, a little cold. How are we doing? Perfect. Oh yeah. That's real rain. Really? Yeah. I thought we were on a set. How's it going? Good. It's raining, which I don't know if it makes it better or worse. It is raining. I also don't know if it makes it better or worse. Uh, but we are in Honduras and the skies have opened up. That didn't stop some of the kids from jumping in the Caribbean Sea though. All right, still in Honduras, still raining, still having a blast. The sun eventually came back out and gave us a chance to film some clips from around the port area. So there you have it. Mahogany Bay has a beautiful beach, lots of shopping, several really awesome excursions for you and the whole family. Check out the Hub app once you're on board to see available excursions for each port. Our next port of call was Belize. Belize is very proud to have the world's second largest barrier reef filled with life. As a result, ships have to anchor out at sea and use tender boats to take you to land. It's about a 20 minute boat ride from ship to shore. All right, we made it to Belize. We took our boat from the ship and we are now standing on ground and Belize. Yeah. This bag, isn't it beautiful? It's very beautiful. She made it herself. Found a, uh, an artisan right outside the Belize tourism village here and Rebecca's gonna buy a nice handmade bag which is pretty nice, you know, help support the local people directly right into their hands as they make the stuff at their home and bring it out here to try to sell and make a living for their family. So definitely trying to support the Belizean people as much as we could. We chose to head to one of the many islands in Belize, Key Cocker. We made it to Key Cocker. Yes, we did. Safely. We've been to Belize several times, so Rebecca and the girls knew exactly where they wanted to spend their time, at the split. It's the area of the island that was literally split in two after a major hurricane years ago. It's a lovely place to swim and relax. It's free of charge to be at the split, with local vendors offering amazing seafood that's so inexpensive compared to prices in the US. And yes, that's an entire lobster in that plate. I took our new cruisers and we went snorkeling to Shark Ray Alley.
Back in Belize, this time with Max and Stella for the first time about to go snorkeling. We saw coral. Conch shells and even swam with sharks and stingrays. We just arrived at the Holchan Marine Reserve here in Belize and I think we're about to go swim with some sharks. Though it was their very first time snorkeling, they took to it very quickly. It was safe and so cool to see all that's below the water's surface. There are several excursions offered through Carnival to do the same thing. We had a private excursion booked through a local company. See the link in the description for who we chose. All right, that's it for Key Cocker. Had some good time with the split, the ladies did. Had some good time on the water, snorkeling with sharks, and seeing the beautiful barrier reef in Belize. So now we're about to head back to Belize City so we can get back on the ship. Our last port of call was to Cozumel, Mexico. Carnival offers a great list of excursions at Cozumel, and you should certainly check those out in the Hub app. We chose to spend time right there at the port, where you'll have your pick of souvenir stores to choose from. Look at this guy. What are we trying to find here? <laughs> Stuffies that have the country name on it. If you're considering a cruise and wondering which ship might provide the best experience for your needs, Carnival Liberty stands out for its vibrant amenities, diverse dining, and range of activities that suit all preferences. We had a blast and we think you will too. Please subscribe to our channel and check out more of our cruising videos. Send us your questions in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. Check out our cruising blog by clicking on the link in the description. Until next time, happy sailing. <laughs>